Anthony Budo, Journey Evolution, and in this video, we are going to take a look at the quote, the only way to get rid of fear of doing something is to go out and do it. So are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's jump right in. I want to start out by asking you, how do you handle your fears? What is it that you're scared of doing? Is there a certain story that you are telling yourself about that fear? Take a few minutes and think about whatever you've been afraid of doing and what specifically scares you about it or what's holding you back. I love this quote. It is so true because so many people never actually face their fear and take action. Most people, they turtle up and they crawl back into that comfort zone. You know what I'm talking about. That warm, safe place where you feel like nothing can harm you, nothing can challenge you with new and unfamiliar experiences. The problem though with staying in the comfort zone and avoiding the fear is it'll never go away. Avoidance is only going to add strength to that fear. And while you remain in your comfort zone, that fear is going to build a wall around you quietly and strategically stacking up, getting stronger. And the longer you avoid it, well, the thicker the wall is going to get, the harder it's going to become to break through. I've avoided fear for many, many years and not just one. I'm talking like fear of rejection, fear of criticism, like fear of failure, fear, even fear of success. I think at some point early in my life, I must have bought the platinum package of fear because it included all the different variations, all the different channels. It was definitely not just the basic level. It was, it covered everything. And one fear that I have been overcoming lately is the fear of criticism, especially around even doing video. I remember when I did my first Facebook live. That was probably like one of the scariest things I've ever done. I've never done any type of video before. I never really got in front of a camera. I never really did any type of speaking. And it actually took me a few weeks to build up the strength to actually do it. I was so scared. Well, you might be saying to yourself, well, Anthony, well, Facebook Live really isn't that scary. Shooting a video isn't that scary. Well, it was for me. <laughs> it was pretty scary for me. You know, I had that fear of you know, what people might think of me or how would I sound or how would I look? All of that was building inside of me. And the best part about it was I actually, my first video, I wanted to talk about fear and there I was letting fear prevent me from even doing it. But I finally just said, screw it. It's time to step up and conquer this. So I set up my camera, set up my tripod, hit record and off I went. And I'm not going to lie. I was scared especially because I was sitting there for 10 minutes doing the video and no one was jumping in. Finally, after a little bit longer, some people started jumping in, but that was pretty much it. And I think I rambled on for maybe, maybe 10, 15 minutes more. And then I decided to tap out. And after it was over, I shouted out like, I did it. I did it. I recorded my first Facebook live video and it really wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Taking action, taking that first step, toward my fear, helped me build the confidence to then do it again, do it a third time, do it a fourth time. I began to weaken my fear about doing video because I kept doing it as opposed to avoiding it. So I want you to think about it now. What is something that you are afraid of doing? I think a lot of people, the fear of public speaking is a big one. And that's typically because we've never done it before. If you're afraid of public speaking, then I want you to come clean right now. How many times have you actually done it? If the answer is zero or one, well then you don't even know if you're afraid of it yet until you try it. It's actually not as scary as you think. So leave me a comment and let me know what is one fear that you have that's kind of been holding you back, that's keeping you in your comfort zone. And what action can you take? What first step can you take towards it? to start weakening that fear, to build the confidence, to continue to do it. Leave me a comment and let me know. And remember, you are not alone on this journey. Together, we can become stronger individuals. Educate, engage, evolve, and I will see you soon.